Is the dark room absolutely necessary for coating screens? Stick around to find out. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. One of the questions I get asked pretty often is, I thought you needed a dark room to coat your screens. They needed to stay inside that dark room in the meantime while you're setting your film up and going through the exposure process. Well, I'm going to tell you from my experience that you can coat your screens and take them out for a little bit without it causing any kind of issues. Obviously, you don't want to just leave them out sitting out all day long in the sun. As you guys can see here in our shop, we do have some daylight coming through with both these doors and we have some little light panels up there to allow some daylight in. And this is the environment in which we coat our screens. The key is though, you need to let your screens dry in a dark, cool, and dry place. If you leave them out in the sun, once they dry, they'll expose, they'll slowly expose. So the key is really, once they've dried, then they become photoreactive. So I'm gonna demonstrate this point. I've got a screen ready to go to be coated. I'm gonna coat it out in the sunlight. I'm gonna tuck it away in the drying cabinet. We're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna pull it out of the cabinet and I'm just gonna kind of take my sweet time with it sitting out here in the light. I'm gonna set it on the exposure unit and we'll see how it turns out. Now that I have my emulsion coater, now that I have my scoop coater all clean, we're gonna wait for the screen to dry. We'll be right back as soon as it's dried and we'll do that experiment. All right, our screen is all nice and dry. Let's go ahead and take this screen out of the cabinet and I'm just gonna kinda let it hang out here. There it is, right there. Sun's still coming up through, through the shop. Both doors are open and we'll let it sit out for just a little bit and then you guys can kind of see that it's it'll expose just a touch but it's not going to be that big of a deal so come over here and see what the weather's doing it's raining a moment ago it's hot it's hot okay i'm going to grab the scissors i need to cut this piece of film in half still sitting out i'm going to grab my film Toss our screen up on the exposure unit. Still not in a dark room. And I'm just gonna cut this piece of film up real quick. It's been sitting out for a couple minutes. See if I can do this one-handed. So it's been out for a good three minutes. Go ahead and expose this thing. exposed and washed out absolutely fine let me let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up this is a 110 mesh got some details in there about as much as a 110 is gonna hold now I'm going to take my screen set it outside that way it can post harden in the sun and help it dry a little quicker 
So as you can see, it's not absolutely necessary to have a dark room while coating your screens or bring them out to expose them on your exposure unit. However, you do need to dry them in a cool, dark place. Although it's really not that cool in here, it's pretty hot. I mean, it's practically an oven in there, which can be good because it dries your screens a lot quicker. So uh, there is that. And it's very humid here too, so. We have all these things working uh, against us and not necessarily for us, but you know, screens go in the drying cabinet in a dark place and it works great. This cabinet works great. I'll be sure to do a future video on the specifications of this cabinet, just in case you want to build something similar for your shop. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you later.